Hey, beautiful, blessed morning, grateful guy family. Um, it's Fun Fact Friday. Um, but before I get into Fun Fact Friday, I want to take a moment of silence um, to remember a gentleman that um, I was informed that we lost yesterday. He was a childhood, um, you know, friend slash student. You know, we went to school together, played sports, um, you know, always competed against each other. Just a great soul guy. Um, unfortunately, he lost his life yesterday morning to a fatal car accident. And um, I just want to be able to take a moment of silence to, to remember the gentleman, Gemini Jackson. Um, you know, I, I prayed a good little while yesterday when I, when I um, you know, found out the information about him. But I was just truly, um, just truly sad. Um, it definitely was a gentleman who's, uh, you know, who took strides to be able to be successful in, in, in his life. Uh, who was a son, who was a brother. Um, most likely who, you know, who had a, a, a partner. Um, so I just want to take about 30 seconds this morning to remember him. Again, his name is Gemini Jackson, Lone Little Gemini Jackson. Um, and the other individual who was with him as well, I don't know that individual. Um, but Gemini, um, may you rest in peace and rise in glory, man. Um, Lone Little Gemini. So I'm about to get into it on 30 seconds, starting now. Yeah, man, so we really have to be able to appreciate every day in our life. It's truly a blessing. Continue to, to pray pray to God on a daily basis, all day, every day, um, and just thank him. You know, just always be thankful for everything in our lives, man, because we never know when it's going to end. Um, but just always try to be the best person we can be. And, um, again, let's just motivate individuals to be better, and um, let's go forward. So the daily verse for the day of October 21st, 2022, derives from the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 11 and the state says as follows for unto you is born this day in which the city of david a savior which is christ the lord and again that's from the book of luke chapter 2 verse 11 and um this morning again the fun facts i'll be based out of um will be the country of poland i'll be doing fun facts about poland and um i received this information from Troflogger. Trafalgar, yeah, um, Trafalgar, Trafalgar, Trafalgar.com, um, it's T-R-A-F-A-L-G-A-R.com if you want to look at this information by yourself, and again, this is 11 facts about Poland that you won't believe, or fun facts, whatever, one, Poland is the home to the world's biggest castle, the castle of the Teutonic Order in Melbourne is the largest castle in the world by land area. Originally built in the 13th century as a Teutonic castle and fortress, it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Speaking of which, Poland is the home to a remarkable 15 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Poland has one of the world's oldest salt mines. Have you ever been? Have you ever been inside a salt mine? When you visit Poland. Which Trafalgar, with Trafalgar will take you to see the 800-year-old Wieska salt mine. It's probably wrong, but one of the oldest in the world. It's famed as the underground salt cathedral of Poland. And you will see chambers, sculptures, salt chandeliers, and entire chapel carved from rock salt. When you venture 135 meters below ground with your guide. Vodka originated in Poland. The fact about Poland is ho is hotly, ho hotly debated by by Russians. However, it is believed that vodka was invented in Poland. The first written mention of the spirit was found in Polish court documents from 1405, and vodka was originally used as medicine. Europe's heaviest animal heaviest animals live in Poland. The endangered European bison or the wincent 
is the heaviest land animal in Europe, weighing over 600 kilograms on average. They can be found roaming on the 150,000 hectares of the Bia Luisa primeval forest in Poland, the last primeval pro uh, forest in Europe that once sprawled across the continent thousands of years ago. Poland has the world's first upside down house. <clears throat> One of our favorite fun facts about Poland is that it's home to this first upside down house in the world. The topsy turvy wooden house was built the wrong way up in a forest and it looks some it looks like something out of a fairy tale. Poland has one of the most diverse environments in Europe. What do you picture when you think of Poland? Ancient forests, mountain chains like the like the Tatra and the Carpathia, dazzling lakes, how about beaches, deserts, sand dunes or wetlands? Poland has almost 800 kilometers of sandy coastline, sand dunes in the in the Pom Pomeranian region, wetlands in Biebrzynski National Park, and even the only Central European desert, Pustynia Bladwoska. <laughs> I'm working on my, my Polish words. The Palace of Culture and the Science of Warsaw is full of animals. Warsaw's iconic Palace of Culture and Science is a massive building with over 3,000 rooms used as grand halls, conference rooms, sports arenas, auditoriums, bars, movie theaters, and offices. But did you know that cats work here? They, they may not be on the official payroll, but dozens of cats roam the building every day to combat the invasion of mice on the lower floors. But cats and rodents aren't the only animals living here. The upper floors of the home, the upper floors are home to kestrels, while the sixth floor is home to a living bee hive. Uh, I guess a living bee um like farm. You could still eat at Europe's oldest restaurant. Head to the city of Rokla in, in Poland, and you'll find Pinika Sweet Sweetnika, the oldest restaurant in Europe. It was opened all the way back in 1275, and you can still enjoy a delicious meal there today. Polish people married the youngest in Europe. One of the most interesting facts about Poland is that Polish people marry on an average at age 25 to 27, younger than any country in Europe in the European Union. So if you befriend any Poles in their mid-20s who are in steady relationships, start preparing to attend a Polish wedding. Warsaw was almost completely destroyed during World War II. The old town in Warsaw you see today isn't the complete original. Warsaw was heavily bombed and effectively raised by Nazi Germany in 1944 during World War II. The Poles rebuilt their city after the war was after the war using the detailed paintings of Bernardo Belletto. Today you can still see buildings in the old town of Warsaw that looks as, as they did in the 14th century and is all a testament to the incredible strength and resilience of the Polish people. And to round it out, you can find an original Gutenberg Bible in Poland. There are only nine copies of, copies of the Gutenberg Bible remaining in the original 15th century binding and you can find one of them in the Diosen Museum in the little town of Peplin in Poland's Kosiwi region. The Gutenberg Bible was the first major book printed using a printing press and it paved the way for the mass production of the books in the West. Today, the Gutenberg Bible is one of the rarest books in the world. And, um, so again, you can, you can find 11 fun facts with 11, this is what it says, the 11 facts about Poland that you won't believe. And again, it's from Trafalgar.com as T R A F A L G A R Trafalgar.com and um again it's the eleven facts about Poland that you won't believe. Um but again man just make sure we cherish our loved ones every day man we get an opportunity. Let's make the best of our lives every day because we don't know when our life is gonna be called or when we're gonna be called to to come serve God and um you know be with him and things of that nature. So 
Y'all just make the best of it every day, man. I love y'all. I love all my family, my friends, my loved ones. I appreciate everybody who support me. Um, shout out to Poland. Again, this is the third country that I did on my Fun Fact Friday list um, in support of me. So, again, shout out to Poland. Um, I had a great time when I visited that country some years back. Um, really appreciate it. Um, I, I was actually one of the cities that I, I was um, able to, to visit was Elk, Poland. Elk, E-L-K. And it was a beautiful city. Unfortunately, it was the it was the winter time, so I, I didn't really get to, um, you know, see the sights in the summertime. But they say um, Poland is a beautiful country in the, in, the, in the summertime. So if any of my friends are living in Europe, um, y'all go check out Poland next summer. Check out some of these places I talked about today, and you know, just make the best of it. But until next time, y'all, I appreciate the love and support. Continue to check me out on all my major major pla- uh, podcast platforms: Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor. Um, Again, any major po- podcast platform, you can check me out. Um, but until next time, y'all, check, um, be tuned in. Myself, Frankie Fly tomorrow, and a special guest for Sports Huddle. Um, we will be having some great rundowns. The NBA season is, is kicking off um, with thrillers all day, every day. So I'm excited about the season. Um, Thursday night football, probably one of the, the best Thursday night football games we've had this season. So um, I'm just truly excited, looking forward to it. Um, just talking about sports tomorrow, but y'all be easy out there. Until next time, y'all. Peace and love.